Hi everyone, it's Katie from StringExpert.com. In the last few episodes, we learned how to hold the violin and hold the bow. Now we're going to put it all together and learn how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. If you'd like the fingerings for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, go to my website, StringExpert.com, and print them out. So the first things first is we're going to learn Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the violin, and then we're going to learn it on with using the bow. So it's easier to learn them separately and then put them all together. So the first things first is we want to make sure that we're able to hold the violin correctly. Very, very important. So um, we touched on this a little bit in the last episode, but we want to make sure that we have a star right here in between your finger tapes. Now, if you don't have finger tapes, you should go get them yesterday. Finger tapes are really important because they show us where to put our fingers on the violin. Even if you're an adult learner, it's important that you have finger tapes. If you're renting a high quality instrument or buying a high quality instrument, your local music store or luthier should be able to put the fingering tapes on you for free. Um, or if you bought your instrument online, Usually they'll put them on for free before they ship it out to you if you ask them to do that. So make sure you request they do that. Now with our fingering tapes, we have the first tape here, and that's going to go with our first finger, which is this finger right here. Then we have this tape here, which is our second finger. So we put our first finger here, second finger here. Now our third finger is this one, our ring finger. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then eventually we'll use our pinky for our fourth finger here, okay? Now, each string has its own name, but for today, we're just gonna learn two. We're gonna learn the tiniest string, this little one on the left here, which is the E string, and the A string, one right next over. So we have E and A, and um, there's the D and the G here, but we're not gonna use those today, so we're just gonna worry about the E and the A, right here and right here. Okay, so we're going to put the violin up underneath our chin. Of course, we already have our shoulder rest. It's attached correctly. We can hold our violin with our chin, and we're comfortable. We're going to take and put our hand nice and straight. Make sure you watch this part right here. Having your thumb right on the star right here. Our fingers are nice and round, and they hover over the violin like so. And so we get ready to play, and we're just like this. Okay, now, we're going to take our first finger, and we're going to put it right here. Okay, this is the E string, and we're going to put our first finger on the first tape. Let's just practice that. Putting our first finger there, and then our second finger goes on the second tape. So let's practice that. Third finger on the third tape. Let's practice that. All right, one, two, three. Now we're ready to play. Now, we're going to do plucking to begin with because it's very difficult to put all the elements together right away. So we'll learn to pluck Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and then we'll get our violin bow. Okay? So grab our right hand. We're going to put our thumb right here on the edge of this board which is called the fingerboard. We're going to take our pointer finger and we're just going to gently pull the string. Here's the A string. Here's the E string. The E string is the smallest one on the right. The A string is the one right next over. Okay, so the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle, we're going to pluck A, A. No fingers on the string at all. Just open A, open A. And we're just gently pulling the string. Not too hard, not too softly. And then we have E, E. Okay, now we're going to put our first finger down on the first tape. E1, E1. Just like that. Then we're gonna lift our first finger off for E open. Good. Okay, so let's try the beginning part. Open A, open A. Open E, open E. First finger, first finger, E1, E1. Take your first finger off, E open. Let's try that again. Open A, open A. Open E, open E. E1, E1. E open. And again, if you have the notes, it makes it much easier. And if you don't read music, that's okay. 
Above the music, I have the fingerings written in. So it'll say A open, meaning no fingers on the A string. E open, meaning no fingers on the E string. E1, meaning first finger on the E string. Okay, so let's make sure we have that down. A open, A open. E open, E open. First finger, E1, E1. E open. Good. Now, now that we have that down, let's practice that several times and get it correct, okay? Then we want to start playing with the bow. Now, in the beginning, learning to hold the violin bow is quite a challenge. So if you didn't watch the video on how to hold the violin bow, go back and do that. Um, but since we already know how to hold the violin bow, let's go ahead and set our violin down and pick up the bow and let's get our bow hand correct. Then we'll go ahead and pick up the violin. So we're gonna set our violin down. We have our violin bow, of course, like we did in the other video. Grab the top right here. Make your hand into a rock star hand. Roll your fingers so they're nice and curved. We have a nice C here. Thumb underneath, fingers over top. One pinky resting on top. Point your finger resting here. Good. Now that you have your violin bow and you're holding on to it, let's go ahead and grab the violin. All right. We're going to put the violin up. Now we're going to play in between here and here. This is our bridge and this is the fingerboard. And we make a sound right in between here. If we get too close to the bridge, it's gonna sound squeaky. If we play over here, you're not gonna make a very good sound, okay? So we're just gonna pull to make a sound, just like that. So we're gonna play A open, A open, and we're just gonna try and hit just the A string. And then we're gonna play E open, E open. Put our first finger down for E1, and then E open. Now, you might sound scratchy at first. We sound scratchy because we're not relaxed enough. If you try and have a death grip on this violin bow, which most people do because they're afraid of dropping it, you will sound horrible and scratchy. So relax your hand, relax your bow, so it's nice and smooth. Let's try it again. A open, A open. E open, E open. E1, E1. E open. Let's do it all together. Great. So stay tuned next time we'll go through the entire Twinkle Twinkle Little Star piece. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, go to stringexpert.com and book a lesson with me.